In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel, according to St. Luke chapter 11, verses 14 through to 23. And he was casting out a demon, and it was mute. So it was, when the demon had gone out, that the mute spoke, and the multitudes marveled. But some of them said, He cast out demons by Beelzebub, the ruler of demons. Others, testing him, sought from him a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falls. If Satan also is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? Because you say, I cast out demons by Beelzebub. And if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if I cast out demons with the finger of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his own palace, his goods are in peace. And when a stronger than he comes upon him and overcomes him, he takes from him all his armour in which he trusted and divides his spoils. He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Open our eyes to your words, to your teachings. Help us to understand what you are saying. In this scripture reading today from St. Luke, we read about Jesus and the devil. How Jesus was casting out demons. And the people were marveled. But they said, he cast out demons by Beelzebub, the ruler of demons, and not by God. And others were testing him. They sought a sign from heaven. And Jesus knew this. He understood. And he said, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And the house divided against himself, a house, the house falls. Is Satan is also divided against himself? How will his kingdom stand? Because you say I cast out demons by Beelzebub. And if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, he said, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if I cast out demons with the finger of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. Every day we are at war. There's wars all around the world. Sadly, we see the war that's back on again in Afghanistan, how the Taliban have taken over again. So, as I said, there's war everywhere. But there's also a spiritual war. It's not a normal war like you see here, with guns and bombs and planes and tanks, etc. No. This is a spiritual war using spiritual weapons. Weapons that are not that easy to see. You might even say sneaky. The 
G the, the devil wants us and he would use every strength he possibly can to to bring us away from him from Jesus the distractions in the world are those tools that he uses to draw us away from going to church to pray from praying as so as I said there are times that we really need to focus in on what's happening we read another part of the scripture where his disciples were trying to heal a person from a demon and Jesus said to them later such can only be cleansed with prayer and fasting <coughs> prayer and fasting you often wonder I dare say why do we pray so much why do we fast so much because we are at war with Satan we need the strength we need the weapons of prayer we need the weapons of fasting you might think to yourself well then how is fasting a weapon we find ourselves becoming very weak our strength because of the distractions we need to focus in on God we need to focus so we pray we fast from certain foods from certain activities that we can then refocus on God we need to build up our strength to fight this spiritual battle with Satan not to focus on the world but to focus on God to focus in on the scriptures to learn about God his love we need to focus on spiritual things spiritual matters godly matters we are at war every day we battle some conflict in our lives Satan wants us it's not easy this war with Satan but it's a war that we need to win we need to save our souls from Satan we need to focus and not be distracted by the things of this world we are at war keep yourself prepared for the battles ahead through prayer through fasting and every day when you pray give God the glory for all things in your lives for the battles that you win for the battles you lose just pick yourself up refocus and continue on the war glory to God for all things and may the blessing of Almighty God the Father the Son and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always Amen Amen Amen